Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, Nick Collier here again, and uh, today we got this like pretty simple little uh, straightforward project. Although there's going to be a couple of moves here where, uh, where you know, it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, so, uh, so I decided to film it. Hey. Uh, Basically, let's uh, bring you up in closer here, and we'll see what we've got to do here. Can you see that? Probably. That's probably a little better. Um, oh, upside down. Aha. Okay, right side up. Uh, basically, it's a just a half inch or three quarter shaft going across with a T on it, and a and a half inch thread. No big deal. So let's just get to get to work and do something with that. Okay. All right. Well, we're using a piece of 4140, and uh, since it's a pretty small piece of rod, we're going to use the small saw. Of course, we're not going to let it spin like that. There we go. And it's supposed to be nine inches long, but the end. Is, needs a quarter inch long thread on it. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting at 10 inches so that I get myself about a three quarter inch uh, start on the thread so I can get this thread to go nice and smooth. T wants to be at two inches, so we will cut that also. Well, I actually inch and three quarters, but I'm cutting extra long just, just for yucks. Okay, we'll be back. All right, according to our drawing here, we've got a 10 inch piece and we really only need nine inches. So half a nine, well half a 10, let's do half a 10 because uh, we're gonna be, uh, Half a ten is five. We'll come in with five right there. And five right there. That looks pretty good. And then we have a two and a half inch uh, piece that is the actual three quarters of the shaft. So that's uh, one and three quarters or one and a quarter per side and that's going to be right to about there and right to about there there's nothing that's that's going to be super accurate here the guy is hasn't given me one accurate measurement three inches two inches two and a half inches okay i can do that and so the rest is three inches long. Let's measure that. There's three inches. That's to the thread. And then the thread is a quarter inch, but I've got it at a half inch because I want to uh, make sure that I got enough to get that the die started. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're gonna put the shaft all the way in. We're gonna use the little lathe today. It takes a little longer on the little lathe, but uh, the big lathe is absolutely perfectly clean. I've cleaned it. <laughs> I got it all oiled down. I will use it when the time comes, but hey, this is a small lathe project. We'll be back. 
Okay, let's get started. We're sitting out here, kind of hanging out on a, on an, uh, you know, a little floppy out here, but it doesn't look like he's interested in having a center in there. I may be able to pull this off without the center. We're going to give it a try. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and put one in and, you know, hey, it is what it is. Oh, wait a second. That's right. I have extra room here. So I'm going to cut some of this off. So let's go ahead and put a center in. There we go. Much better. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and find out where our mark is. Put my carriage stop in so you know where it's at. All right. go down from three quarter to half inch so we've probably got a, a you know about 10 or 15 passes to make on this side Thirty thousandths off at a time now. A little bit stronger cut.
Okay, so from this point, We've got the half inch and uh, we're going to put threads on this end here. So I'm going to take this down 10 more thousandths to kind of relieve that, uh, that die and, um, and uh, allow it to, um, to make its threads. And uh, 10 thousandths will give me 75% give me of threads, which is pretty much what I want. So we're just going to, I'm going to backtrack this because it's sitting right there. I'm just going to do it by hand. So there's our 10, and we're just going to take it and uh, run a 45 down there. Okay. And I think at this point, it's probably a good idea just go to go ahead and throw those threads on there since we're here and that's all set up to go. Okay, half inch 13 is what we want. And I'm gonna check that, make sure that's what we want. He says half inch standard thread. Well, whatever that means, I'm assuming it's coarse thread. So lock in my uh, compound. at some point, there we go, and get my wrench set up, start a turn, get some oil on this, Feeling that shaft shift a little bit. Okay, we got ourselves a nice thread there on the end. How's that there? That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, kiss it with the file. Just to get rid of that sharp edge. And now, we flip it. And do the other side now make sure that we got all our measurements right okay so we've got our uh, our shaft turn we've got uh, a quarter inch and actually he said it was okay to do three eighths of an inch of thread on the end we are um, 
done. We've, we've trimmed off both ends to uh, clean it up and to make it the right length. And so this part is pretty well done, except I need still need to drill two holes in the end. I'm guessing cotter pin holes or something like that. And uh, we'll do that over on the mill. But for now, we've got this other piece. And where did it go? Uh, oh, yeah, we'll get this out. So basically, we've got to take and put a slug out on the end of this to make a, some kind of T-bar and then um, drill a half inch hole in there and tap it all the way down to the bottom. So uh, that's, uh, you know, pretty simple. We'll just put this in the mill or in the drill press, <laughs> drill press, in the lathe and uh, go ahead and uh, center drill it and then uh, do a, maybe a two or three step drill. We're going to come over to All there. Right, well, we're going to just drop a center into the middle of that. That looks pretty good. Come back in with maybe a quarter inch drill bit. Just something close. Okay, so we've got a 27 64 hole drill, which is our size to go to a half inch thread, half inch 13. Let me put my drill bit away. All right, let's get a tap follower in here. There we go.
Okay, we've got that. Uh, let's um, get a tap handle on this. Because it'll work just as well. In fact, better. And we need to get our carriage in just a little bit more so it's got some support. There we go. That should do. And I want to get a little piece of cloth on that just so that it protects it. Some old scrody rag, how about that? Compound. Things getting a little sticky. Maybe it's time to put some oil on it. Ha! There we go. All right, let's get a little oil in there. Okay, compound in gear. All right. Cutting oil, and we are ready to rock and roll. back everybody up for a little bit it's getting pretty tight no it's not tight it's fine okay What happened to our thread or our tap follower? Guess it got pushed in too far. Okay. There we go. All right.
All right, I think we're gonna take this out and do the rest by hand. I'm just afraid that uh, it's getting pretty tight and I'm afraid that that uh, um, tap is gonna break. We're about halfway through. We'll be back. All right, well, normally I would find center by uh, just cutting across the top, but we're not cutting the top of this. We are cutting a a arch into the back in, inside of it. So we're going to uh, just run this down until uh, we kick the center finder. There it is. And uh, set our DRO, turn everything off. <clears throat> take the center finder out, take the collet out, we're going to replace it with a three-quarter collet and a three-quarter um, three bit. Okay, three quarter. Now, uh, this is three quarters, so we're going to come three eighths and So we're going to go in three seventy five and then a hundred for the for the um, center finder. So that's four seventy five, sixty seventy five. And that should take us to dead center. And of course, always check in my measurements because I screw up more than more often than not. We'll take this down. Actually, you know what? Let's take this up. Lock it in place. Oops, we gotta get a little bit lower. Yep. Uh, and that's a little fast. Get some oil and start bringing it in. We're just going to take one pass and just walk it in there until it's halfway through the bit. I'd say that looks pretty good. <clears throat> yeah. Nice. Now what we need to do is come in and uh, cut a relief on all of these edges here so that when we run a weld in there it, uh, it binds uh, real good with the uh, other piece of material. Mm hmm maybe a little bit of air in that just to blow out those chips and while we're doing that we can reset for 
drilling those I think you want 16 inch 16th inch holes in the uh, in the shaft and we'll just put the drill bit back in drill back in All right, let's blow this out. That looks pretty good. We'll be back. Well, you know, on second thought, I think uh, we don't need to relieve that because this is a 90 and we're going to just pull around here and none of this is going to get ground off. It's just going to be a, a raw weld. So uh, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape there. Uh, let's drill these holes and then uh, we're ready to start to weld it and then we're pretty well done. Oh, I need to take a measurement here. So uh, we will do that. Let's see. Measuring device. I know I have one somewhere. And he wants it an inch and a half, oops, an inch and a half off of the... Uh, Hang on, I gotta get some glasses. An inch and a half off of the um, the other bar. So there's inch and a half. So we got a ways to cut off here. Let's uh, mark this. gonna just paint the hell out of it come in with an inch and a half right about there looks good and I'm thinking we could just throw it on the lathe and just trim it off you know a little bit at a time Let's do that. All right, we're on the lathe. Let's just start cutting. Actually, you know what? Let's make our line first. Somewhere in a, about there. And we'll run our tap in that into that just one more time just to make sure that it's uh, it's happy. We'll be back. Nick Collier here, and uh, you know I got so focused on trying to do a decent weld on this damn thing that I forgot to film it. So uh, it is welded, and you can kind of see it. It's I kind of went back in and sanded these down, kind of make them look pretty again, and. Uh, we are ready and raring to send this off to him. He sent me the money last night. 
I get to put in the box today. Life is good. Hey, this is Nick Collier checking out.